What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about that Best Buy news story going around about the stopping of giving out or allowing people to buy physical media starting in quarter one 2024 which chucking the old watch or the old calendar is not all that far away in fact it's just a few months away and I thought this would make sense uh, maybe it would make more sense on back to the past where we talk about you know retro stuff but I've brought up this issue before and I'm more of a new age kind of collector like well, years ago, if you asked me three, four, five years ago, I mean, I was in the digital stuff. I still am, like, in terms of PS5 games. The amount of actual PS5 games I own physically are next to zero. There's a couple, but it's next to zero. So, but I very much respect physical media. I've made Back to the Past my third channel, and I've gotten, oh, roughly, I don't even know, like 35 games just in the past, like, six, seven, eight months to try to add to my PS2, PS3, Xbox, Xbox, Xbox 360 kind of era. So I'm big into it, like, now, recently, last two, three years. And, uh, and we've talked about, you know, what can go wrong, I guess, when you rely just on digital, the, this age of not actually owning things. It's uh, it's very bad. Now, again, we've talked about it before, so I won't bore you too much, but the Best Buy thing, it's scary. It doesn't, okay, like scaring me, I don't know. Does it really scare me? I guess it scares me in the sense that it's here. We talk about this future, this dystopian future, kidding, maybe not kidding, where you don't own the game itself you own the license to play that you know all this stuff we've talked about and you know i've always thought well it's years away it's three four five years when it gets to the ps6 and the next xbox console the odds of it having a disc drive specifically in the console is very low at this point as you're seeing even with the ps5 having the detachable disc right and i think xbox so you know it's that's the future where you can buy the usb thing and you can put the disc in that but it's not going to be part of the console and then eventually it's not going to be that at all right there are going to be no discs so we've been talking about you know i've made videos across all three of my channels and we've talked about it and i've always thought you know 5 2028 20, like five years from now right but the best buy thing it's just best buy at the same time, though, like you're seeing a lot of signs and, and, and that's, I guess, maybe again, scaring me is not the right word, but kind of just like hitting me, you know, like a like a whiplash and being like, oh, it's actually happening like right now, which we kind of had sensed Alan Wake, right? Alan Wake doing it like a dragon guide in the man who erased his name. Those two games are only digital. I think that's a big mistake, but they are. Uh, you have all the collector's editions, whether it be Xbox ones or PlayStation, Spider-Man, Starfield, God of War, all of them. Even if you buy the collector's edition, the physical version, you open the thing and it's just a code. It's a paper to, to put in the code. So even collector's editions don't actually have an actual, you know, disc. I'm grabbing a disc via below the camera here. They don't have it anymore, right? So you can sense it's coming, and you can sense it's to an extent already here, right? I'm not playing dumb, right? Like, I know. But seeing the Best Buy thing, it's like, oh, so it's next year. Like, it's happening not just right now, but it's happening to the extreme literally as we speak. A major retailer is eliminating that business, period. So, what, what I mean, what are they eliminating? Well, games. And they also talked about, like, the Blu-rays and see, like, movies. Movies. So, you know, I don't support many movies. Um, I wait for, like, the collector's, you know, editions or the, the 4K re-releases of, like, Screams. And I have all of them. So, like, you know, I do that. And I think those will always be around, right? Like, the special anniversary kind of things. They'll always appear at Walmart or Amazon. You'll be able to get them, right? Uh, but just, like, the day-to-day -day you walk into a store and you see all these legacy media, whether it be games or movies or television, you know, TV, right, seasons, and that's gone, uh, you know, in the first couple months of 2024. So, you know, again, that in and of itself, I mean, it's, I think it's bad. I think it's really bad. You could argue, well, it's just Best Buy. Well, yeah, it's just Best Buy right now. But, like, just look ahead just a little bit and see that, well, if it's Best Buy now, what's going to stop Walmart, Target, Amazon? Like, now, there's a couple that, like, kind of need to still be. Otherwise, it's literally dead, right? Like, if you eliminate even what I just said, if you eliminate it from Walmart, Target, and Amazon, it'd be done. There, there would literally be no like box things. Left. Generally, again, there would still be the oddball thing here or there, but generally that would be it. So it's scary. Like it's why I want to make this video. It's, it's happening right now. And it's disappointing. Like it's totally disappointing for reasons. I, I won't bore you too much. Right. Again, like we've talked about this before, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, if you've watched all my videos, but 
there's a lot of negatives. Like, there just is. There really is a lot of negatives when it comes to an all-digital kind of future. You, you, The biggest one that I think I would argue, and I think it's strong. I think it's a strong argument that I argue for anything would be you don't own it. You don't literally own it. It's the same thing with music. Now, music's been doing it for like 10 years now, right? You don't actually own the music. You own a membership on a site to stream the music. The day that they decide they don't want that anymore, now they lose the money, yeah, but the day they say, well, you don't actually own that album, the day they say, well, you don't actually own that movie that you bought on YouTube, YouTube movies or whatever, you know, whatever the heck it's called, right? You don't actually own it. You're buying, quote unquote, a license to watch it. And once they cut that middle part out, the license, they say, well, it's, you don't actually own the thing. You own a license, and we, we're just going to take that away from you now. Once they do that, you're done. On top of hacks and internet outages and inconsistent, there's a lot of the reliance for games, you know, as we talked about, like, this is what happens when day one patches and games, it's now acceptable for games to be broken at launch, right? Like, all of these conversations, they all start because of a digital future or all digital kind of thing. That's how all of these things start. So, you know, I could keep going into it. I won't bore you all that much. If you want to argue with me, I guess I can in the comments, but we have talked about the individual aspects before. So sucks to see it's not the end of the world because there's still other retailers, but it's definitely something for me that I look at and say, like, like I said earlier, right? Like it's here. And not only is it here, like I thought we'd be totally done in like five, six years, we just have to like accept defeat. It's actually more like maybe next year, maybe 2024 or 2025, we accept defeat that it's not happening. I mean, like it's just done. So sad, very sad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.